Happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday, December 1st, 2023, and we're back with Friday Lives. I hope that if you celebrated Thanksgiving, you had a wonderful holiday weekend. Kelly, it's so good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you here for a little while. Yes, I did have a good Thanksgiving. I hope you did as well. Uh, I saw in the chat right before when I, I clicked the lo go live button that Laura says that she's having a, a little mini die cutting sesh while we're doing the live today. So that is perfect. So it is December at Simon Says Stamp, which is a month dedicated to die cutting all month long. You guys know that I am here for that. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys are too. Even though I know we're probably in the midst of Christmas and holiday crafting, I'm not going to create holiday cards today. So I hope nobody is disappointed by that. I thought it would be fun to kind of play with a couple of the other dies and products in this uh, month's release or the December release and just have a little bit of fun. We all need cards all year long, and I have done a lot of Christmas crafting, so I think this might be a nice little break. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Just home in time. Yay! I'm so glad, Tracy. Oh, Kelly, I'm so happy to hear you're getting inspired for crafting again. It, it ebbs and flows. It definitely ebbs and flows, but I'm happy to hear that. Hello, Miss Shari. Shari, I was watching that link you sent me, and then I was like, oh, I got to go live. <laughs> yes, oops, December, live with Nicole, absolutely. Okay, saying hi before going back to work. Hello, Jennifer, so good to see you. So I'm ambitious. You guys know this about me already. I mean, last time I did a live, it was two hours. We're not doing that today. I got some other things I got to get done, but... I have an ambitious goal of three cards today. So let's see if we can get those done. I'm going to walk you through the supplies. We're gonna do some fun inking and assembly and all of that good stuff. I'm going to share a sneak peek. There is a blog hop tomorrow and I'm super, super excited. So you may notice after I show you the supplies we're using today, down in the supply list, I have listed some stamp sets with coordinating dies by Tim Holtz. They're Tim's stamp, Tim, stamp temper. No, <laughs> they're Tim's Stampers Anonymous 2023 Christmas sets. The surprise for Die Simber is that Simon Says Stamp created dies that go with them that coordinate. They are Simon branded, so they are not Tim Holtz branded dies. They cannot work towards the promotion at Simon Says Stamp uh, this month, where if you purchase $25 of Tim Holtz branded product, you get Walter the Penguin free. So I did want to put that out there first, but I'm going to sneak peek my projects that are in the blog hop tomorrow that feature those. So you guys, because you're here today, you're going to get a little sneak peek of that. The video will be up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Um... Oh, good, Kathy. I'm glad you're liking the later lives. I got to tell you guys, they work better for me. I am working a little bit quicker. I'm a little slow in the morning. I get up early, but I kind of have this, I don't know, I, I'm slow. <laughs> I was just telling Lori, my friend Lori, this this morning. I am so slow in the morning. And so sometimes it was hard for me to be, you know, running on all cylinders. This is my this is my personal best time of the day to create. So we're going to try it for a little bit. Shari already ordered the coordinating dies. Fantastic. So I'm going to sneak peek that. And then I do want to share, um, I'm sure maybe you've seen it, maybe you have it, but the December card kit from Simon Says Stamp is probably one of my favorites in a while. It has tons of Tim Holtz product in it. And I did a reel, I put a reel up on my Instagram today just showing you the 12 projects that I created with the kit. I was super inspired. So we'll, I'll show you a little up close of those as well. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera and put me in here. There we go. So let's first, before we get to this part, I do want to show, look at this little stack of beautiful 
card making and tag holiday fun. This, all of these were created with components from the Simon Says Stamp December card kit. I did put a link to it down below. At the time of going live, it was still in stock. Um, but, you know, they do sell out eventually. A lot of the components are available for, for individual purchase. I do know Tim's sticker book is out of stock at Simon right now. And usually those are one and done run. His ide ideology Christmas sticker books. So if you love it and love all the little stickery touches, you might want to pick up the card kit. I used every single one of his ideology frames included in the kit. I did four small, I love the shaky sound, don't you guys? Square tags. More Well, they're not exactly square. I use the square frames to make these tags. And then I did four of the more traditional rectangle frames. And I stamped on some acetate. Super, super fun. And then over on the Simon Says Stamp channel this week, I shared four shaker cards. They don't have the loud shaker in it. They just have glitter shaker so that the snow is falling over that tree. I did four cards. So definitely check that out if you're looking for inspiration for the December card kit. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Bye, Shari. Let's see, purchase the whole set of Olo's Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic, yay! Oh, Jennifer says she feels like she saw the sticker book at Joann's. Yes, you might be able to find it places. Just know that it's like a, I, I don't wanna say this for sure t because I, and I haven't watched Tim talk about it, but I believe those are like a one run and done. So, you know, you'll be able to find it places, but they won't make any more if that makes sense. Okay, so I want to show you now the, let me zoom out just a tiny bit, you guys. I feel like I'm super too tight. Okay, so these are the stamp sets with coordinating dies. This is Winter Woodlands, and here is the die that goes with the tree. I did use this. I'll show you all my sneak peeks in a minute. Super fun, festive print. And here are the dies that go with this. I use this stamp set. I think I use something from every stamp set. I did. You know, go big or go home, right? Um, Christmas cartoons. And here are, look at all those dies, you guys. Is that not amazing that we can now die cut all of these amazing shapes? Bottle brush trees. I love, love, love how this card turned out. I actually love how all my cards turned out. Don't be scared about the trees thinking it's hard to pick out which one lines up with which. It actually is super duper easy. So this is awesome set. And then this beautiful Santa. I love this. This is Jolly Holiday. And here are all of our dies that coordinate with that. These envelopes are from Simon Says Stamp, I believe. That's a great question, Nikki. What's funny is right before I went live, I thought I should go grab that link and I didn't. So let me make myself a little note because I will add that. Oops, and there I just stepped on a squeaky toy because they're always under my feet. Let me add that to my list. Storage sleeve. All right. that way in case anybody else watching the replay has the same question. Hi, no, Shimon, you are not late at all. Okay, so I promised a sneak peek. So here are my cards that you will see from start to finish tomorrow, so I won't answer questions regarding how I made them, but you guys, because you're here today, get to see a little sneak peek of what I created with those amazing new dies that coordinate with Tim's stamp sets. Aren't those fun? I just love it. So um, there's your little sneaky peek for today. Definitely come back tomorrow because there are giveaways at every stop along that blog hop. Question, I'm having issues with some of my Olo's blobbing. Uh, Colleen, 
definitely email Olo. I'm not coloring today, so I don't want to cover a ton of that. You probably will have to replace the nib. Um, really quick, when you take the caps off and on like we're used to with other markers, it causes a suction. And once that happens, you need to replace the nib. But email customer service at Olo and they should help you out. Let's see. I got the bottle brush Santa and cartoon. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad, Jamie. That's so fun. Okay, let's talk about today's project because I said I'm ambitious and we are going to try to get three done. So this, you can see I've die cut my flowers here. And I think it's important to show because I have to be honest, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> so I feel like they're more of a great focal point. And can be, there can be some other fun things you do with them, but I probably wouldn't use all of these on a standard A2 size card. This is the new Bold Scandinavian Floral. This is what it looks like on the cover, but here you can definitely see the size and scale of those flowers. We are going to be ink blending. You can see I die cut everything with white or inking them with some of the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks and then placing them on a card front. Another new product that I am using today, hello Donna, and thank you Janie. We are using the Hello, or the Simple Hello die from Simon. This is also die Simber. It's the beautiful script in the shadow. I'm only gonna use the word die though, you can kind of see it here. So that's really fun. And the final new product that we're using in today's projects is this awesome embossing folder. Let's show the back because it doesn't look impressive like that. Look at the, look at the texture. Isn't that amazing? Yes, Janie, absolutely. If you want to use them all, definitely try a 5x7, especially a landscape 5x7, I think would be fantastic. So we're going to use that embossing folder, and that's going to be the background of our card. And I prepped one here that I want to show you. So I have trimmed a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of 110 pound weight Nina Smooth cardstock, and then I did splatter it a bit. And I want to talk about the color I use because I can't be perfectly white. You guys know me. It can't be perfectly white, um, which I'm going to do that here on camera here in just a minute. I'm using Decayed Distress Mica Stain. This is a Halloween color. Don't let the Halloween throw you off. They can be used for absolutely anything. And I love this one. Let me see. See, look how it kind of has like a coppery, goldish type of shimmer to it. I love that. So let me see. Bye, Amy. We'll see you later. Yes, Danielle. Happy December. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my embossing folder. And I have my background paper. I know that you can spritz it with water if you want to. I find I don't need to, so I generally don't. But if you feel like that gives you a better impression, you can do a light mist of water before running it through your die cutting machine. But I take it like this, and then I usually use the packaging that it comes with as a shim. For my machine, let me show you here. I got to move a couple things, though, before I can show you. Let me move that and try not to dump them all on the floor. All right. Doo -doo. There we go. So we want to get rid of our cutting plates. I'm going to move me for a minute. I just use my platform here in my machine. I take my embossing folder with the 3D or the 3D embossing folder with my paper in it. I use this because it's nice and thick as my shim. And this is how I run it through my machine to emboss. 
lunch break and inspiration. Yay, Cheryl. And you can see already that it gives me a fantastic result. And there is our background. Simple as that. I love the embossing folders for very quick, easy, beautiful backgrounds. So let me move that back out of the way and grab all of my stuff again. Actually, I could hold off on that. We could spritz our backgrounds. So now I'm going to take my two, my, uh, my other backgrounds. There it is. And we're going to spritz them so they can air dry while we do some inking. What is everybody's plans for the weekend? Let me know in the chat. Lara, Lara, is it Lara? Finally catching a live, usually replay. I'm so glad, yay! Baking cookies, oh my goodness, that's awesome, Linda. That sounds so good. So this is decayed. Make sure when you mix up these distressed mica stains, I know I'm a broken record, that you don't see any of the mica flakes down here at the bottom. You can hear that ball. Just make sure you give it a good shake. And then I use my, just a plastic splatter box. Well, it's not a splatter box. That's what I call it. It is just a plastic storage box from a discount store. Kitty, I'm attending Jingle Ball too. I can hardly wait. And then I just kind of half depress this and do a little spritz. As much or as little. I want some, some nice mist, but I also want those bigger splatters because I think those are what add all of that inter interest to the background. Oh my goodness. Danielle's leaving for a weekend crop and taking cross stitch with her. That's fantastic. I love it. Putting up Christmas arch lights outside, going to the jingle. Lots of going to the jingle ball. Lots of stitchers. Yay. All right. So let me pop that underneath. Let's see. Mariana, you did not miss much. We haven't done a whole lot. I embossed a background and I spritzed it up with a little distressed mica stain. But now we're going to get to putting together the rest of our cards. So we've got our little background. I did go ahead and die cut my hellos off camera. We're not gonna do that on camera today. Oh no, no fun for you, Shimon. Darn it, Cassie's decorating. Vivian is flying to Asia this evening. Vacay mode on, nice. I love vacay mode. I want to show you guys the dies so you see what they look like and then how big they are. They're going to be fantastic for a big, bold floral on a card background. All right. Christmas cards, decorating the lobby in my condo and making Christmas cards and tags. Oh, nice. So let's just start. Actually, let's see. I kind of have mine divided by how I want to create my plan, one floral per card. So you may have noticed in the release for December that there are new, two new ink trios. One of them is this one. It's Punch, Sangria, and Cabernet. So we are going to be using a couple of these or maybe all of these for my flower. The other new color combination is Petunia, Pansy, and Aster. So I love that Simon keeps bringing out more inks for their line and um, just expanding the line to include a lot more colors. Lori says supposed to be working. <laughs> Carpool line, Bridget said, nice. <laughs> I'm glad I can keep you company. Always working. You are not that late. That's totally fine. Hello. Good evening from Austria. So good to see you. All right. So we are going to start with our background. And I am going to start with the new punch color. I might try a, new, a different color combination on each. It's kind of what I'm thinking. But we're just going to add color to this. Now what I love is I was able to put my dies on a single sheet of paper and run it through my die cut machine. 
and wasn't having to pull multiple colors of cardstock. You could. That is totally fine as well. If you want to grab, you know, dig in your scrap bin and die cut all the components from different colors, that is a great way. I'm sorry, somebody's knocking on my door. Um, but that is a great way to use up your scraps. What? Do, oh, there they are, looking for my rag. So there is that. It's just UPS, but Frank likes to let everyone know that UPS is here. Um, let's see. It is fun. So here's kind of all the components I have for this flower. We're just layering it up. Lots and lots of layers. So we're going to do this one next, and I'm going to go back to the previous release had several new colors, and I love, love, love this nutmeg color. So we are going to ink up this layer with some nutmeg. Icy and cold in Scotland. Oh, Rachel. It's just cold here, not icy. Hello, Marlene. And this is a little blotchier than I actually like it, but it will smooth out. And we are layering them, so it should all be fine. Jen, I love the new ink color, too. They're a little bit more jewel tone, maybe? Is that what I'm looking for? And I kind of dig that. So there is going to be our next layer. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one while I have this ink out. We'll just go ahead and ink up this circle as well before we go back to that new trio. Oh, how fun getting ready for a trip to go visit your granddaughter, Linda. That sounds amazing. All right. And I'm just going to make sure that I am not cross-contaminating my colors, so we'll get rid of that. Now... We're going to go with Sangria next, and it is so pretty. Rainy and cold there, too. It's rain. It's just rainy and cold here, yes. It was super rainy yesterday. And we're just going to ink up this one with that Sangria. Basically just having fun with new colors. You can't go wrong. And then for our, so here's how our flower's looking. I think it looks pretty cute. Oh, Marlene, thank you. We're going to do the little center and I'm actually going to do that with allspice. So we'll just go in and be pretty aggressive with that. All right. Oh, I'm so glad that you get to catch a live too. I go for sangria. Oh, you mean ink color. <laughs> Jen, that's funny. I love it. Oh, I know, Catherine. The new ink colors are amazing. So here's our flower. Isn't it so pretty? I think that's going to be super fun. Now, for our stem and leaves, the other, this was not new this time. It was new last time with the, the kind of golds and browns I was just using. Is a new green trio, which has my favorite new ink color, artichoke. Artichoke and kale, oh my goodness. Artichoke is my favorite, though, by far. We are going to use artichoke and kale to ink up our stems and things. Let's see. I like the drink idea, Marlene says. It's a new kind of craft hour. <laughs> it's the happy hour craft hour, right? <laughs> we might have to start, oh, whoops, I need that still. We might have to start doing it at, at five. Of course, isn't it five o'clock somewhere? Isn't that the saying, how the saying goes? 
And we're gonna ink up our little leaves with this color as well. I'm not really gonna do any blending, I don't think. We'll see. I may change my mind, but for now, we're just gonna go with single colors for all these layers. We're doing a lot of layering. So tell me if your Christmas shopping is done because you guys, I have fallen so far down on the job. It's not even funny. I really, really need to get on the ball with my Christmas shopping. Oops. You know what? This is a recipe for disaster. Let's move this out of the way. They're going to get messed up. So let's go ahead and place these on our card. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to just go ahead and glue everything down as we go. I love the new ink colors and this is the perfect way to truly play with them and let them shine. Oh, Paula, that's so, thank you. That's so nice. I agree. It's a great time to kind of play with them, see what they do, see how they look. Super fun. Let's see. Totally done shopping and almost done wrapping. Nancy, you may have to come over. I need help. I'll get there. Before I glue anything down, we need to figure out, it's not going to be too hard to figure out, but I do need to kind of figure out where it's all going to go. So I, as much as I love a bold sentiment, and so many people do such a good job of just a bold sentiment, you guys know that's just not my jam. I did stamp and emboss some phrases from the Tiny Words birthday. Larissa, hi, friend. So good to see you. Cassie, thank you. Cassie is in my club of we haven't really got too far into the Christmas shopping or at all. <laughs> um, we're going to add a little sentiment strip underneath. So that is definitely going to play into where kind of everything is going to go. But I kind of think that looks good, so we're going to start gluing it all down. I am going to glue it. Now, I think these would look amazing popped up. The reason I'm not going to. That hello has to go over the top of all of this, and it's so dainty. If you use the shadow, you could definitely pop it up, but I think it will cover up too much of my flower. So instead, I am going to glue everything flat right down to my card. Oh, good. We have lots of us who um, can be in the, the no shopping club or haven't started club for Christmas shopping. Let's see. Oh, yay, Marina. Going to make some felt ornaments for gifts. I have some of those left to make myself. I love that. Uh, Larissa, you read my mind. So Larissa said these would be really fun out of fabric scraps. That is what I'm going to try uh, next. The size of these is big enough that I think we could do some really fun things from fabric. That is exactly what I thought. I love it. All right. Now, if you want, if we wanted to, and maybe we will, we could pop up the flower because hello is not overlapping that. Let's see. Just going to put a little glue on here. And I think that looks pretty good. We're going to try to get it centered. What I love about that DK, the DK Distress Mica Stain, the name really just throws me off because there's nothing about this that is decayed. But what I love is that you can see it plays so nice with the matte gold of the paper I used to die cut Hello. 
Heidi. I love it. She said she's made the world's most expensive cards and wedding place cards for her kids. Does that count as gifts? I think so. I think so. So I'm actually giving my oldest son hand-me-down couch, but it's not that old. And I kind of consider that part of his present. I mean, he won't care, but that's a gift, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of think so. Let's see. Let's see. I missed. I'm starting my pump, my dears with pom poms today. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Those are an absolute blast to make. Oh, Sandy, you're always on it, girl. I love it. So I'm simply just gluing my pieces together for this. What do we think? I do think that we might pop it up. Mm. Yep, I'm going to go gr grab some foam. So we're going to just put some foam here on the back. Nancy loves decayed. I do too. I think a great idea that I really need to take this advice myself is I need to swatch all of the Distress Micas because a lot of them play differently than what you think they will. Like I said, obviously Decayed is a, a Halloween color, but it works great for everything else. So that looks super cute. I'm really happy with that. Let's go ahead and ink our other ones and then we'll do all of our finishing at once. Let's do this guy, shall we? I think we should probably play with some of the new purples. Don't you guys? I agree with the pop-up. Julia says, yay. Nancy says the cranberry ginger ale I'm drinking matches the pink. Okay, this is completely random, but that does make me think. Ethan, um, my youngest, he told me that the cranberry Sprite is really good. Is this true? And does anyone drink the cranberry Sprite zero because I don't drink full sugar pop? I'm curious whether I should get it or not. But he's, he told me to get him the, the Sprite with cranberry. He said it's really, really good. Diana, let's see. I've made this card so far, but I'm making two more. Robin says she's been meaning to, to swatch her micas. It would be helpful. Well, we might have to do that. Maybe over Christmas break, I'll just do a live that we aren't creating. Maybe we can just swatch together. <laughs> Linda has swatched them and just likes to look at it. See... That would be me too. Okay, we're going to use some of the petunia first, I think, for our big circle. Look at that color. That is so pretty. Okay, Olivia doesn't like it. Well, that is interesting. I'm not, I haven't decided if I want, I should probably just try to find like a can or a bottle of it somewhere and try it before I buy a whole case. Purples are definitely in order, Shimon says. Aren't they beautiful? So I know you're either a purple person or you're not. I am, I used to say I wasn't, but I think that's a lie. I do like purple. I even have some purple clothes. So I don't really know why I said that I'm not purple. I was a liar. Swatching party sounds great, Heidi said. We might do that because I am taking that last week off, but we might just swatch for fun, for funsies and to catch up. Oh, Kathy, it would be great to swatch on both white and desert storm. I like that. That's a good idea. Okay, let's look at this and think... I think we're just going to do shades of purples. 
and then maybe finish with that nutmeg in the center. I think that's what I want to do for this one. It's just paper. If it doesn't work out, we'll die cut some more. Are the new purple have a gray hue? Bonnie, I would say yes. And I'm going to swatch each, or it's not... I'm not swatching, although it seems like it. I am going to ink a section for this flower in each of the new colors. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what they look like. I would say they are not the bright purple at all. Definitely a grayer, more jewel tone or something like that. All right. So we've got Petunia was first. This is Pansy, layer number two. And it will smooth out as it dries. And then our third layer is going to be Aster. Christy says her office is a light plum color. I bet that's beautiful. Those who love purple just swayed you to our side. <laughs> yes, you guys did. Okay, Ginger said she did like the, the cranberry sprite. I had never heard of it, and Ethan was like, I mean, he lives with me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's really good. I'm like, where did you have it? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so that is much, much darker than, again, that's Aster. All right, let's clean that purple up. So this is going to be a very tone-on-tone -tone flower. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then I'm going to take some nutmeg. And we're just going to do our little flower center. What I love about nutmeg is if citrine, which I love citrine from more of the original colors, um, is a little too bright. Like I think it would be too bright for a lot of these co newer colors. I love it because it's kind of more of that goldish type of yellow. And let's go back with our artichoke. <laughs> Must be the name Diana said with Ethan's. Yes. He is ready for Christmas. That's break. Not Christmas. He'd care less really about Christmas. That's part of the problem with my shopping. My boys don't tell me anything they want. My daughter, not a child, a grown woman, is like, here's my shopping list. <laughs> You're not 10, is what I told her. <laughs> oh, Peyton. Cranberry ginger ale is really good. Love them both, but hard to find. Yes, Danielle, I've noticed that too. I don't drink a ton of ginger ale. I may have to try one of those too. Hi, Nan. And I just realized I almost put my artichoke away, but we need to color these still. I love inking florals. I love coloring florals, inking florals. All the things. All right, let's grab another background and put another flower together, shall we? Kind of like working a little at a time. Oh, I missed. Let's see. Oh my goodness, Larissa says she likes to use cranberry Sprite for making pretty cranberry ice cubes for spiked holiday drinks. That is a fun idea. I didn't even think about that. That would be really fun. I love it. <laughs> Diana, that's so funny. Yes, it sounds like they are quite similar. Stay put. That texture doesn't always love to cooperate. Swatching party sounds fun. I think we're going to have to make that happen. I got to check my a couple things on my schedule. I do have one thing I'm doing that week, but I will find time 
just feel like that's a great after Christmas type. <laughs> let's let's just chat about the holidays are over. We survived, you know, all that. And we can swatch all of our stuff and just catch up. That might be fun. I think we'll have to do it. Yay! Nay, I'm glad you finally got to catch a live too. That's awesome. Oh, just got done using sprays on gift bags. That sounds so pretty. I think those sprays are a good idea for everything all the time. All right. Let's pop this pretty little flower here. And I did a different kind of leaf. And you can mix and match all you want with all the different components. I love that there's a lot of different options. Let's see. That's a date, Larissa said. Fantastic. All right, let's put our hello on this one and then we'll figure out what we're going to do on the last one. I might dig in my drawer. I'm kind of feeling like some blues might be kind of pretty. So let me see. Because we kind of covered our, our new reds and our new plums. Berries. I think that's kind of what those reds remind me of. Those kind of remind me of berries and then we have some plums. So here's what we've got so far. Let me see. I almost feel like Oops. What do we want to use? I'm almost thinking we might use some of these. I think that would be pretty. Or I could go full on with my yellows. Or maybe we could combine. Hmm. 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 Decisions, decisions. This is so hard. Yes to the blues, Larissa said. I agree. That was my first inclination. Larissa has just sealed it for me. That's what we're going to do. Oh, Roxanne, you're welcome. I You can't go wrong with the embossing folder. I mean, look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? All right. Let me find my blue, bl blue blending tool because I did not get it out because I thought I might do blues and then I talked myself out of it, but... We're back. So this is the color morning. And these are going to be more in that muted color palette as well. They're not going to be the, the brighter like royal blues or anything like that. Jen, that you read my mind. I think you could easily, obviously I'm talking, but if you are just, you know, sitting and making these, you could knock out a ton of really quickly and put them together as a set and you would have a fantastic gift in no time. And I think that would be amazing. Okay, let me see what I got here. I've got this, this, and this. I think we're going to do this layer in twilight. Can you all help me get organized? Not in a tedious way, <laughs> overwhelmed and miss on creating because I'm trying to find something. Yes, Cheryl, this is my best advice because I just did this. Purge. I know that's probably not popular for everyone. Remove some stuff. And if you don't want to remove it completely from the premises, here's my best tip. Get a box or more if you need it. A box for, I definitely don't want any more. A box of, I'm going to put it somewhere else and if I don't need it in six months, it can also go away. And get rid of some things. Eliminating some of the, the clutter always helps jumpstart me and gives me so much 
uh, more inspiration. And it also kind of helps remove that clutter from my mind. I mean, clutter from the house, yes, but for me, it's always the clutter in the mind. Oh, Laura, I love that. She said the flowers in reds or whites on craft would be very Christmassy. I totally want to go do that now. That is a fantastic idea. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Okay, we're going to try this. If I don't like it, I'll cut another one. But I'm thinking nutmeg is going to look good with this. With my blues. Oh, it does. It does, it does. Danielle can't wait to get the blues. They're on her list. They are my new favorites. By far. And then we're just going to do these yellows or golden browns for the center here. Oops. I am an inky mess. Inky, inky. Oh, Nancy, I'm glad that, that you're liking it now. They can be made so much fun. I can't get that idea of the reds and whites on craft out of my head. Laura, that is the best idea. I hope somebody does that. That would be phenomenal. You're a hoarder, but you'll do this. That Just know, here's how I think of it. Even if you don't want to do a giveaway box, maybe things I might use and things that just need to, to leave, go away, go somewhere, just have some boxes that you set, put somewhere, a storage room, a garage, storage unit, wherever. And if you don't need that stuff in six months or a year, you probably aren't going to miss it. But removing it from your immediate vicinity sometimes is just the thing. Why do I keep putting that away? is just the thing to kind of help clear your mind and jumpstart those creative uses. We do, Patricia. This is an amazing, amazing group of people. So shamelessly, I'm going to ask if you are watching and you haven't sub sub subscribed and you would consider doing so, I would super appreciate it. Um, less than 300 until we reach 100,000. And that is all due to you guys. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. It means the world to me. I'm so excited. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to have a 100,000 subscriber party. <laughs> okay. So this time I am going to bring in some kale for the little layering piece. Oh, Carrie, I love that. She said she just purged her bedroom closet. I did that a couple weeks ago. I also did my makeup. I did the medicine closet. And I'll tell you what. Oh, and when I decorated for Christmas, I had a box in the garage that I loaded up with stuff that I haven't used in the last few years and I dropped that off at Goodwill. So I was like, this feels good. I've been in a really purging mood lately. Oh, Rachel, thank you. Larissa, you were right about blues. I'm so glad. So glad. I love, love, love it. Party on. <laughs> We're going to have some really, really nice giveaways. I'm very excited. I've had a couple of companies reach out wanting to donate some things. So that was super sweet too. Party on Wayne. Oh my gosh. I haven't heard that in forever. That's why you guys are my people. That's so funny. Oh, Sandy says a local scrapbooking store offers a yard sale every year where you can sell your goods from your stash. Oh, she made a killing this last year. Woo! I love it. You know, I have had some friends who have included their stuff just in a regular garage sale and done really well with it. So that's a great, great idea. I like that. Make a, oh, I need some more foam. Make a little bit back. So we can have all the, all the rest of the crafty stuff. Ha ha ha. 
Yeah, I know. It's driving to the goodwill that's so hard. Why is that so hard? They come out to your vehicle and everything and unload it. All I have to do is drive over there. It's right down the street from Target. It's not like I never go to Target. <laughs> oh, gosh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, I like it like this. So this one, we're going to layer some leaves. And I use that bigger one. Oh, oof. normally that would fall right face down into the glue because that is how I craft. Anyone else, you drop something and it goes right face down into the glue. The other day I had something drying with glossy accents. I dropped my embellishment wand, it rolled into the project, smashed the glossy accents all over every time this whole big area and it goes right to where there's liquid of some sort let's see larissa has another great suggestion if you're trying to get rid of some stuff uh she donates hers to her son's art teacher and she's always super appreciative and sends a picture of the projects that the kids make that's a great, great idea. Jelly side down always. Right, Kelly? Always. Always, always. All right. So we just have a couple of little things left. You know, I was just using this. How can it be clogged? It is not. I really need to get out my other tool that is still sitting in a box, but... That's, we won't talk about that. All right. And then we're just going to pop that right here. Oh, nice, Christy. Gotta love when the postman will drop it right at your door. Oh, that's not straight. There, that's better, I think. Let me move my blending brushes so I don't get myself all glued up with those. Okay, next up. I meant to die cut these, but I did not get them cut. So let's grab some sentiment label dies. Like that. And let me die cut these. You can trim them with a paper trimmer as well. The blues are very pretty. I missed the names, so I'll check the replay. Oh, um, if they're morning and twilight were the two I used. Hi, Irma. And... Thank you so much, Lori. And see, I think that little sentiment strip is just the perfect little finishing touch. Let me get these finished die cutting. I always love the white embossing on black. Thank you guys for all of the great suggestions. Yes, I know the, okay, I have those mixed feelings about Goodwill. 
For me, it's completely a lazy thing. I'll be honest. But I love the idea about teachers. I'm going to ask my next door neighbor because um, she has little girls and wonder if the elementary school would want some of my stuff. I do have a little box of things. I like that. I'm going to ask. Oh, public libraries. That's a great idea, too. Okay. Oh, I did not die cut that. Oops. There we go. Need to listen for the click. All right. We got our greetings. Let's put that out of the way. And we're also going to add a little embellishment. So first thing, we've got our cards. And we're going to use some foam strips. Perfect with the black. I think so too. And we're just going to... I thought I had scissors out, but I don't see them. Oh, my neighbor's dog is out barking it up again. Bless his heart is what I want to say about that. Let's see. I'm going to have to go back and read all these suggestions for donating. Oh, the embossing folder is from Simon Says Stamp. It's brand new. It's listed down in the description. Uh, and just for reference for anybody who wasn't here at the beginning of the video, I do list the supplies. Usually, I think I might have missed putting decayed, actually, the mica stain. And I'll fix that when the live is finished. But I do try to put all those supplies down below so that you can reference that at any time. And I need to add the blue inks too, actually, since I did that on the fly. This embossing folder is called Rhythmic Waves, and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, they look beautiful. We've got some champagne sequins. This is also new from Simon, and I think we need to add some. Just a couple here and there. Can you guys even believe that I was able to get three cards done in an hour here? I'm kind of impressed. So it looks like a lot, but truly this is not a ton of work. We didn't really do ink blending per se. We just kind of inked them to add the color and it goes really quick. And let's grab another. Ooh, I like these. These are pretty. I hadn't used them yet. We got to scatter a few little sequins about. Oops. And that fell right in the glue. What did I say? They always fall right in the glue. Always the wrong direction, too. Always. Crazy. All right, let's see. A little break. Yes, I thought it would be a nice little break from Holiday Makes, too. I love holiday crafting. I've done a lot of it this year. I have I've had more in my handmade holiday series than I've done in the probably a couple years. And I am here for it. I'm here for all of it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love these champagne sequins. However, I just felt like a little break was needed. Do you happen to recall what die set you used for the little ornament topper hanger from last week's live? If not, no problem. Okay, I wasn't live last week, so what was the project? 
Was it, can you tell me what pro project it was? Was it a couple weeks ago? I did felt, so that wouldn't have been. Remind me of what project it is. I can probably tell you what set it's from. It might be from my Festive Circle Crew die set. I've been using that one a lot. Let's see. Let's add a few more. Now, I do need to glue these to a card base. I'll do that later. That's an easy, quick finishing step. I always like just adding a little bit of finishing sparkle to a card. There we go. It's snowing. I just looked out the office window, Kelly said, oh my goodness. Okay, here are our three cards from today. Did I miss anybody's questions as I was messing with putting all those little sequins down? <laughs> Laura, that's so funny. You're so cute. Kathy, do you remember what project it was that you're wanting the ornament topper for? Let's see. Do, do, do. Thank you, Cassie. All right, I am going to flip my camera around. And I'll hang out here for a minute in case anybody had any questions about today's projects. I will have a blog post up here in a little bit with photos of all of them. I will update the supplies with a couple of things that I changed kind of last minute. Oh, the gingerbread ornaments. Yes, it was the festive circle crew dies. Let's see. And it, it should be listed down in the description of that video. Um, if you need it to be if you need it even easier, if you go to that video, it will be listed down below, but it's from that festive circle crew. Um, which is my collection for Spellbinders. Oh, thank you. You love the jewel tone and the touch of sparkle and shine. Yes. So super fun. A great way to do some non-holiday crafting. We all love it, but it is nice to take a little break now and then. Don't forget there is a Simon Says Stamp blog hop tomorrow. So there's going to be lots of inspiration, lots of chances to win a nice little gift certificate from Simon Says Stamp. Um, what else did I want to say? I am planning on being live throughout December. Uh, just after Christmas, I will take the rest of the year off and then we'll come back in January. But I am going to schedule something where we have a little swatching party of some sort and we can just kind of chat and catch up. It just won't be an organized type project. Uh, Marina, how do I find out when your lives are? I do schedule them so that if you are subscribed, which um, to chat, you do have to be subscribed. Um, if you're subscribed, turn on notifications and it should send you an email notification letting you know that I will be live. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Kelly, wishing you a happy and safe December as well. Um, if anybody has any questions once the live is over, just drop them in the comments. I do read the comments and I will uh, check those. Otherwise, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And if you're attending the Cross Stitch Jingle Ball this weekend, hopefully I will see you there. We'll have to chat and catch up. Um, but have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.